Hey everybody, welcome back. It's been a minute. I was sick all last week, so I didn't get to stream. And uh, Monday was a holiday. So we're going to start today, Wednesday. Uh, Rise of the Dragon. Not a super long game. Oop, let's restart that so we can see that uh, that intro. That Sega CD intro. So cool. Yeah, there's a DOS version of this, but the DOS version does not have uh, voice acting. Rise of the Dragon. Yeah, they had this game for rent at my local uh, video store. Very uh, Blade Runner. All right, we're not gonna sit through the credits. Uh, let me see what saves spot I'm on. Ooh. Can I just? Is there any way to go all the way down to the bottom? No. I have to manually do this. There. Save. All right, let's start it. Do, 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 do. There you go, baby. Have a nice trip. Hey, little friend. You got a good time for me? So good, so good. What was that? Oh my God. In three days, my destiny will be realized. Just as the prophecy foretells, we shall destroy those who stand against us and bring this city to its knees. The name Bahumat shall once again strike terror into the heart of man. Hmm, so good. Yeah, so we're basically detective. Uh... Overcoat, formed of synthesized animal hide, blackened by age and exposure to pollution. Uh, do I hit X? Oh, X to bring up my inventory. What if I hit start? Nope, or select. Uh, can I just do that? And then X. Okay. No, I probably need actual clothes, right? <laughs> uh, X. There we go. And then our coat. Hey, look at that. Okay. It's locked. It's locked. 
Broken egg timer. Empty powdered egg box. Fisto powdered H2O. <laughs> Commonly referred to as dry wash. Powdered H2O is a chemical cleaning agent capable of eating through even the toughest stains and skin left on for prolonged periods of time. Well, Fisto oatmeal, multigrain eat meal, long suspected as the cause of numerous cases of spontaneous combustion. Whoa, ruled safe by the FDA world sector amid storms of protest. So oatmeal that causes you to spontaneously explode. Glass jar containing two years of peanut brittle crumbs. All right, let's get out. Okay, so A to look at things, B to interact with things. You'd think in a stage four water alert that they'd be a little more worried about fixing these friggin' leaky faucets. 20 billion people. We have really screwed up this planet. Half of them could use a blaster shoved down the throat. Drugged out punks. <sighs> Dirty, scuzzy place. I hate Los Angeles. He's such a hater. A lumpy pillow. Really need to get these sheets washed. Not that they'd smell any better. Let's look at our computer. Uh, previous? No? Oh. Books, books, books. Why the hell do I have so many of these musty relics? Not like I'm gonna read any of this stuff. Books, 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 books. ID card entry slot. Activation of unit is dependent upon insertion of authorized ID card. Facsimile output, two-way image hard copy delivery system. All right, let's just click on things. I don't have my ID card. Got to find that. Yeah, let's exit. Probably in the bathroom, right? First aid kit. Okay. Napent. What? Napent. I don't know what that means. What is that again? Napent. Oh. Oh, okay. my ID card it's locked right so where's my key I think if you try to wander out here nope you don't die no it's locked it's locked Am I missing pretty sure I need the key Pretty sure this is just a one bedroom apartment, right? Yeah, I'm missing stuff. I'm probably gonna get shot and killed here, but we'll give it a try. I remember falling off. Doesn't look like I'd better do any sleeping for a while. One wrong step to the bathroom, and I'd really have something to piss about. I think if I keep clicking, I'll die. <gasps> yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you can insta die. All right, where are Huh, weird. 
ID card entry. Yeah, I can't use any of that. Swore. Uh, do I have more items somewhere? No? That's to speed up time. Yeah, what the hell? Could have swore uh, my items were here somewhere. Unless there's a way to search myself. Let's try that. Once fashionable garment is nearing its end of life, having endured years of use and abuse, made of synthetic materials vaguely close to Peruvian goat leather. Okay. Maybe not. Uh, I don't see anything else. I don't have a key. It's not in the bathroom. I swear you need to get like a gun and like an ID. But I might be misremembering things. 20 billion people. We don't need to hear that again. Uh, I mean, let's get out of here, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's take the elevator. No? There we go. Okay. Oh, Lottie Don, nice art. Looks like a friggin' spleen. <laughs> Rickety death trap elevator. Pretty sure we're supposed to go downstairs, but let's look around for a second. Makatome building. Sodium vapor lamp. I think we can't do anything here. Nope. Let's go downstairs. Compton. That's right, my guy's name is Blade. <laughs> Let's go to Karen's. not be home. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go back. Who? What is this guy doing? Does this guy want to fight? Santa Monica. Uh, let's go to City Hall. Proprietor of the flower stand is busily at work sorting her merchandise alphabetically by color. Let's go talk. Welcome to my place of business, sir. We offer the finest selection of organically grown flowers in the city. My name is Blissful Harmony. <laughs> you can call me Bliss. How can I help you to find greater harmony in your life? Yeah, see, uh, I'm kind of in trouble with my girlfriend for, uh, missing a date, so... I see. I thought I detected anxiety in your aura. It's quite orange. May I suggest a bouquet of roses and a kind apology to your lady friend? Ooh, I get to choose. Well, I don't want to spend that much money. I don't want to spend that much money. of dandelions and ragweed. Now that's not quite what I had in mind. I guess I'll take a dozen roses. <laughs> An excellent choice, sir. I'm sure that these flowers will help you reforge the spiritual bond with your loved one. Now, if you will give me your card so I can charge your account. I don't have a card. 
Uh, how much is this gonna cost me? Two hundred dollars plus tax. Ooh. But how can you put a price tag on love? May I have your card, sir? Don't have it. I don't have it. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. Yeah, I definitely missed an item. A smelly bum sits on a sidewalk mumbling incoherently to himself. Let's talk to the bum. Doom, doom, we're all doomed. Have you gone crazy or what? Bahumat has risen again. I've seen him. What the hell are you talking about? 5,000 years he's waited. We're all doomed. You've been drinking too much vodka. We're all doomed. Doomed. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, it's your city hall. Oh, if you hold A. To the warehouse district. Gotcha. Let's go to city hall. The avenue next to city hall is crowded with surface traffic. City hall. The last bastion of freedom and democracy. <coughs> the big city. Hours 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. So they're still open, is what you're telling me. To the street. Jenny, the city hall receptionist, is, as usual, busily occupied with a laborious task of absolutely no importance. <laughs> oh, I hope she doesn't try and come on to me again. Uh, well, let's police headquarters so we can go there. Maybe we get our get our badge. Want to play house? What do you have in mind? A little dancing, a little moonlight, a little romance. You know. <laughs> oh, it sounds fabulous, darling. But what about that Karen Summers person? She definitely has to go. Ooh. Why don't you go dump her and give me a call on the rebound? See you later, you big stud. <laughs> I'm sure you have more important things to do than harass me. So beat it. Come back later, Blade. I'm really busy. Busy doing what? Let's go to the armory. I wouldn't go in there if I were you, Blade. Uh, let's do another save. Just because she warned us. Show me your pants. I don't have one. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You can't get past this checkpoint without the proper authorization. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Arrest me. I already told you. No pass, no access. There ain't no way you're getting in here without a pass, buddy. I already told you. No pass. No act. There ain't no. No? Okay. I was thinking he would arrest me or kill me. No? Okay. Uh, to the mayor's chair. He's probably busy. Sorry, Blade. The mayor can't see you now. Okay. Hey, Retro Gaming Denmark, how are you? Hi, oh wow, cool game. Have you heard of it? Uh, I played it on Sega CD back when it originally came out, but I never got the good ending. So I wanted to, uh, to revisit it and try to actually get the proper ending. From Amiga, did the Amiga version have voice acting? Cause I know there was a PC version, but the PC version didn't have voice acting. Yeah, Atari ST, really? I'd be curious to see how this looks like on Atari ST. But I wanted to play the Sega CD version because of, I remember the voice acting. They didn't? Yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, records? Yeah. Hello, handsome. What can I do for you now? Yeah, this is a very cool game. Well, go see her and quit bothering me.
Karen Summers, your sometime girlfriend, is hard at work here in the Bureau of Records. Karen's. Let's talk. Thanks a lot for standing me up last night, you jerk. I had a really special time sitting at home watching Rambo 12 in my brand new evening dress. Where in the hell were you? Rambo 12. Drunk in one of those god awful pleasure domes again? You could have at least called. You'd better have a darn good excuse for standing me up, Blade. Um, really sorry. I had some urgent business. It won't happen again. Didn't say his TD allow for more colors to be added. Um, I don't know. I feel like the the PC version was the DOS version, right? And it had VGA graphics. This is the only version I've ever played. So, yeah, as far as I know, I thought the PC version was the best looking version, but I could be wrong. Uh, I'm really sorry, sweetheart. I had some urgent business and won't happen again. Give you this time, Blade. But don't make promises you can't keep. You know I wouldn't miss a date without a good reason. You just better watch yourself in the future, William Hunter. A person can only stand so much. Here are the keys you left with me, Blade. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Ken. You're welcome, Blade. Come back later if you need me to check out anything else for you. See you later. Yeah, her voice acting's pretty good. So that can. So let's go back to our apartment, open up that drawer, get our card. Yeah, I think this scene just always changes every time. Forget whether you have a time limit or not. Uh-oh. Did I mess up? I might have messed up. Because I don't have my ID card. <laughs> uh, this takes me to the roof. Yeah, it does. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't have my ID card. Hmm. Well, I can always go to our apartment, right? Maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Let's try that. Huh. No answer. Cameron must not be home. Yes, yes, she isn't home. Let me get my get the keys. No. You need to. Uh, maybe I did like soft lock it by not getting getting my gun or my keys. No answer. Cameron must not be home. What are these keys for? Uh, let's look at let's look at the keys. Cabinet keys. Archaic device one while they use for security purposes are now mainly obsolete. Yeah. Uh, I think I was supposed to get my ID card. Yeah. So if I like go here back to my apartment I can't get in yeah there's no way for me to get in oh there we go all right cool I'm trying to remember if this game has soft locks or hard locks all right let's go cabinet it's locked bring up my inventory bust out these keys all right, what is that? Huh, what have we got here? Fisto bar, a black market item. Fisto bars are made of chocolate and melted banana peels. Chocolate is a very rare and sought after item. This just might come in handy for my uh, friends at the Pleasure Dome. Grab that, Fisto chocolate. That it? Huh. Yeah, I feel like my ID card is somewhere here. I just, I don't remember where. Oh, what is that? It's weird that some things don't have descriptions. What is that? 
That's probably for my computer. I don't know what these are. We're gonna bring them, cause why not? Yeah, a little inconsistent. We can look at them here though, right? A wire tester, Acme Little Giant Wire Testing Kit contains three leads, red positive, blue negative, and yellow ground. What about this? Personal explosive device, a small but powerful explosive device contained flaked TNT suspended in a polymer base. Placed strategically, a single bomb can do great damage. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's see what the save function looks like. Internal backup RAM. Did Sega CD had an external memory card or just the internal? Internal RAM. Yeah, I could have sworn. Yeah, I could have sworn my ID card was in the apartment. And I thought I had a gun. But there's nothing I can do. Yeah. Weird. I think it gave more space for saving gains, but not much. Yeah, I remember the Sega Saturn had a uh, external memory cartridge. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with this. Yeah, okay, let's just take it and go. Uh, we haven't been to the Pleasure Dome yet, so let's just go there. We can get back into our apartment later. Yeah, don't. I just click around because some things don't have a description but you can interact with them there it is yeah okay so I got my gun what else anything else uh, let's go into the bathroom No, nothing. Okay, well we got a gun at least. Let's look at the gun. With and Smessen Police Special Pulse Particle Beam Handgun. A meticulously maintained relic from Blade's past career as a peace officer. This gun is very reliable, but it lacks the firepower of many modern sidearms. Uh, okay, let's... Uh To hallway. Uh, go back downstairs. Yeah, this game was so freaking cool. Uh, so City Hall is open till five. So Karen will probably get off in an hour and a half. So while we're waiting, let's go to the Pleasure Dome and talk to some people. I love the music in this game. Hmm. The Pleasure Dome. Anything can and does happen in these dens of iniquity. If it's illegal and you want to try it, chances are you can find it in here. Hmm. Okay. Probably won't let me in, right? The Pleasure Dome. Your problem. I'll give you a problem, wise ass. Now check your weapons or get out of my face. So I'll give her my gun. Let's save it just in case. Do I give it to somebody? No. Or do I just leave it here? In the ticket booth, dummy. Oh, in the ticket booth? I'm trying that. Sure thing. I'll handle it like it was my very own. 
Excuse me, I'd like to get my gun back. You got a gun check ticket? What are you talking about? When you turn in your weapons, you're supposed to get a claim ticket. Look, you guys must have forgotten to give me one. Sorry, buddy. No claim check, no gun. But I gave my gun to you a few minutes ago. A lot of people come through this door, mister. You recognize him, Arius? Nope. Well, then I guess you're out of luck, buddy. <laughs> Maybe we can work out a deal. Okay, here's the deal. Leave now, and I won't break both your legs. I did not get a gun ticket, did I? No. Can I just go through? All right, so maybe if I leave my gun back. Yeah, let's leave my gun. Let's leave my gun back home. I don't know if I did that when I originally played this game. Meanwhile. inform you that we are a week behind schedule on our production quota we must be ready in three days or the schedule will not be met we need more time we're already pushing the end of the safety margin for the reactor coolant systems you must push them harder you will either meet the production schedule or face the wrath of Bahumat. I'll uh, I'll, uh I I'll see what more can be done mr. Kwong Three days. We get three days. I feel like you lose items if you leave them somewhere. There we go. Okay. Now let's get out of here. We got like 40 minutes until uh, City Hall closes. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I guess everything just changes to M way. I think I glitched out. Is that guy still running? Hold on a second while we scan you. No weapons detected. You're clean. Go on in. There we go. The Asian gentleman in the green hat is completely absorbed in a game of one-card stud poker he's playing. The man in the fashionable yellow jacket stares intently at his cards, apparently unaware of anything else in the room. A woman posing as a man, uh, posing as a woman, plays cards with two other Pleasure Dome patrons. Let's talk. Can't you see I'm busy playing a hand here? Beat it, Crumb. Take a hike. Lose yourself. Beat it, Crumb. Beat it. I'm in the middle of something important. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm on a winning streak. Can't you see I'm busy playing a hand here? Beat it. I'm in the middle <laughs> of something important. Excuse me, miss? Yes? My name is William Hunter. People call me Darcy, William. Mm. I bet 75. <laughs> You're bluffing your ass off, Sam. Call. Just ignore them. <laughs> now, what do you want? Looking for a man named Jake. What about Chandra? Hurry up and discard, Dars. I'm sorry, I haven't seen that person, William. Why don't you try the bar? Perhaps the, there is someone there who can help. The bar. Now, Might. if you will excuse me, I must get back to relieving these gentlemen of their excess credits. Goodbye, William. Hey. I'm occupied at the moment. Oh. So I can't ask her about Jake. Oh well. Main stage. Bars that way. 
So let's go to the bar. The monstrous proprietor of the bar wears a mean expression on his face and looks as if he could easily tear the arms off any person foolish enough to anger him. Let's talk. What you want, wimp? Who you calling wimp, rhino breath? What? I mean, I'd like to order a drink, please. We don't serve cops in my bar, buddy. I'm not a police officer anymore. Don't matter. You still smell like pig, man. <laughs> maybe I have, and maybe I haven't. What's it to you? I have some business with him. Like hell. I'm sure he'll want to hear what I have to say. I don't think he'll care to listen to anything you tell him. But if you want to find him, ask the guy in the green coat at the end of my bar. All right. Let's look at everybody first. No, nobody to look at? Okay. Let's talk to the green guy in green. Yo, Kissa, what you want? Kissa? <laughs> yeah? What you want him for? You look mighty uptown to this screw boy. Friend of his is in trouble. Yeah? Who might this friend be? Chandra. But Jake, he got lots of friends. Shandy? What about her? I'm afraid that she's dead. You're crazy. Get out of my sight. Oops. Well, well let's talk again. Listen, Uptown. Unless you got something for me, get out of my face. Oh, what? What if I restart that combo? Yo, kiss up. Let's let's be assholes. Let's see what happens. Hey, Uptown. Your attitude leaves a lot to be desired. Think you better pound some other beat. Oh, excuse me. I shall concentrate with all the effort these worn brain cells can muster. Now, whatever do you require with the man? One of his friends? What would he want with a friend? Just who might this friend be that the Jake would want to take time from his busy schedule for him? I only talk with the Jake. Yeah, well, you got locks on. Now, who's the friend? Uh, Chandra this. Shandy? What about her? How much did you know about her? I don't like the way this little chat is going. I think you can find a way out. Oh. Is there no way to get information from him? I wonder if I just be an yeah. asshole the entire time. Hey, uh... Oh, excuse. Look a little parasite. Later on, bud. You're too tense for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Yo. Let's see. You a slicker? I don't hang out with no slicker. Take a hike. Yeah, okay, so you can't say you're a cop. You can't be an asshole to him. Yo, kid. Yeah? What you want? Yeah? Who might this friend be? The Jake? Lots minus one. What the hell are you talking about, pal? Let's just say you have a lot of friends minus one. <laughs> Shandy? Unless you got proof, get out of my face. I mean, that's kind of helpful, right? If I had something to give him, he doesn't care, right? Listen, Uptown, unless you got something for me, get out of my face. Yeah, okay. Hey, greetings, officer. I'm not a police officer. Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I'm a private investigator, and the name's not Dude, it's Blade. Blade. Sorry, dude. Uh, I mean, Blade. People around here call me Casey Jones. What can I do you for? Looking for information. Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> oh, last time I saw her, she was with the Jake. Uh, that was a while ago, though. You know where I can find him? 
Sure, man. Me and the Jake, we're like real tight. Uh, I can't quite remember what he looks like, though. <laughs> oh, well, ask around. If he's here, I'm sure you'll run into him eventually. Uh, if he wants you to, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the info. No problem. I'll uh, see you around, dude. Uh, I mean, man. I mean, Blade. Oh, <laughs> uh, don't bother me now. I'm clipping a good buzz. I don't want to spoil it. All right. What about this guy? He's not interested in talking. Yeah. So it's just these two. So I need proof that Chandra is dead. Go away. We don't serve your kind in here. Rude. So rude. Can I talk to her? Hello there, handsome. I'm Candy. Looking for a good time, big guy? Ah, I love that voice, that raspy voice. What a coincidence. I'm here on business, too, and it looks like business is picking up. Not monkey business. I mean serious business. I'm totally serious, and I mean business. Why don't you come home with me? <laughs> I've never heard of him. Maybe you should ask Majalambo. He knows everybody who comes in here. Majalambo? Majalambo. The bartender, silly. Uh -oh. Now run along. You're monopolizing the merchandise, if you know what I mean. <laughs> You're wasting your time, Blade. Okay. Get out of my bar! You're stinking up the place! Go away! We don't serve your kind in here! Get lost! You're disturbing my customers! Get out of my bar! You're stinking up the place! Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, dude, don't abstract me. I'm trying to, like, expand my consciousness. <laughs> 86 yourself, man. I'm trying to contact extraterrestrials. <laughs> I'm trying to contact extraterrestrials. 86 yourself. Okay. All right. Let's get, uh, let's get out of here, I think. Main area. We can go to the main stage. All right, let's save that, and then we'll go to the main stage. She doesn't want to talk, right? I'm busy. Yeah, she's busy. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. A scantily clad woman undulates suggestively upon the raised stage. <laughs> hubba hubba. <laughs> A scantily. A A sour looking man with a patch over one eye pounds tequila straight shot at a table near the main stage. If you have an eye patch, you're generally a villain. At least in 90s video games. A sour Let's talk. Yo, what's up? I'm looking for a man called the Jake. Hmm. What do I look like? The frigging Bureau of Missing Persons. <laughs> you want to find somebody? Why don't you hire a private dick? I am a private investigator. <laughs> Some PI. I'd be surprised if you could find your own name in the vidphone directory. Very funny. Look, have you seen the Jake or not? I ain't seen him. Of course, I've been busy drinking this gin joint out of tequila. Now, if you'll pardon us, me and Jose Cuervo got some serious business to attend to. So raspy. Alright, we're gonna bug him some more. Stop bothering me, Jack. Go away. Me and Jose are busy. <laughs> Go investigate yourself somewhere else, Mr. I. Mr. P.I. A scantily. All right, I think that's it. Yeah. All right, let's go to Karen's apartment. It is five, so she should she should be home. We have all our stuff. Yeah. Put the bottom. Can we talk? <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. All 
All right, two Karens. Huh. No answer. Karen must not be home. What? It's after five. City Hall should be closed. The hell? Let's go to City Hall and check. Yeah, it's closed. City Hall. The last bastion of freedom and democracy. <laughs> In the big city. Hours 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Alright, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The hell? Street. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Okay. Uh talk again are you the one the prophecy speaks of absolutely yes <laughs> what prophecy the prophecy it foretells the titanic conflict between the evil bahumat and a great hero what happens to this hero he gets torn into thousands of itty bitty pieces by the <laughs> evil one but he saves the universe that's really encouraging you must leave his eyes are everywhere. Doom, we're all dead. Doom, we're all dead. Okay. What about this lady? Does she have anything new to say? Oh, I can't even talk to her again. What do I have? Okay, so I have a personal explosives. I have food. And I have uh, this that can stun people. Yeah, what am I using this wire tester for? I don't know. Yeah, how come she... Let's go back to Karen's? Huh. No answer. Karen must not be home. Maybe she went to our apartment? Huh. No answer. Karen must not be home. Okay. I guess let's go to Blades. I wonder how I get into the armory. Maybe if I bring my gun with me? Oops. Forgot to turn that off. Um. Let's see. What am I missing? What am I? Pisto candy bar. What can I trade that for? Uh, I need proof that Chandra's dead, but I don't have the ID card to get into this computer. Why do I feel like the ID card's like somewhere simple? It's got to be somewhere simple. Oh, 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 here we go. Uh, message one to William Hunter from Mayor Vicinzi. Oh, oh, there's my ID card. I forgot. Okay, so you have to turn it on first. God. Okay, got it. Can I play these? Now I can. Hunter, we've had more reports of kids dying. Oh, we're. Horribly disfigured, like my... My poor daughter. <laughs> this infection is spreading, whatever it is. You've got to find out what's causing this. I suggest you start at the Pleasure Dome. It's where my daughter was last seen. Look for someone called the Jake. He was one of Chandra's friends. Not that I'd call any of the slime that hangs out there a friend. I'm sending you a vid transmission hard copy of my daughter. There we go. It's not pretty, but you might need it. I don't need to remind you that this investigation is strictly unofficial. I don't want a word of this to leak to the press. Good luck. Okay, next. Marmar's cars. What the hell? Need a good used hover car? Momar's cars has the answer for you. 
Come down and check out our fine selection of new and used hover cars. I make you a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carol. Blade, where the hell were you last night? We did have a date. Or did that happen to slip your mind? You bag of toxic waste. And don't forget that you left your keys at my place. I should just flush them. I'll be at the Bureau of Records early. In case you happen to roll out of bed before noon. <laughs> well, that didn't go well. That's it? Okay. Let's get our card out. What about this? Can I press this button now? Oh, that's the picture of the daughter. And that's the proof I need. Right? Yeah, picture of the mayor's daughter. And I have my ID card so I can go into the armory. This multi purpose device serves its owner as a credit card, ID card, medical info, database, and door key. All right, let's go back to the Fledger Dome. We'll go check Karen's apartment one more time. Let's see, it's 1915. What happens when I go? Huh. No answer. Karen must not be. I wonder if I need to bring my gun to go to the armory. Oh, it's closed. It's closed anyway, so I can't even do that. Uh, let's show this picture to the guy in the green jacket. detected you're clean all right let's go to the bar is the bar yeah and let's show this dude a picture of Chandra oops listen up town unless you got something for me get I wonder if it's just, I'm not clicking on it no Why does he not care? Listen up. I have this picture. I have this picture. The hell. What if I show him my ID card instead? Listen up. Uh Or what if I click A A? No. Um, I don't know. The problem is I don't know like where to click. No, well, I'm thinking like the middle would work. Listen up town. Maybe I need to wait until the next day. Let's, uh, oops, shit. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I think you can lose items if you leave them there. Let's see if it's still there. Okay, it's still there. Um, let's wait till the next day, I guess. What if I give you some chocolate, buddy? No. I give you some chocolate. No. Um, 86 yourself, man. I'm trying. Yeah, okay. We're done. We're done here for now. Maybe we'll go to the main stage and see if I can show the picture to him. Nope, nobody cares. Uh, let's see if we can just go to bed. Blades. Let's use our let's use our ID card. What? That didn't work. 
Yeah, what do I click on? I like that? No? There we go. Yeah, the clicking's kind of weird. It's like a CD. Welcome to the next level. Hey, Lucidius. Yeah. I love this game. Got my gun. Uh, so I guess I just sit here and let time pass. Have you played this before? Never played it? Uh, it's kind of like Snatcher. It's a uh, point and clicky like, a, I don't know, I guess Shadowgate would be, would be a, a good comparison. We got to solve the murder of the mayor's daughter. Our name is Blade. Uh, let's just speed up time, I think. Boy, am I tired. Yep. Better get some sleep in this <laughs> now. Take a nap. Take a nap. Yeah, this game has multiple endings. How do I... How do I sleep? I don't know how I sleep. Cyberpunkish or more noir? Uh... Cyberpunkish for sure. Yeah. He's definitely got that... That, that noir you know, hard-boiled detective type of, uh, attitude, though. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll grab my gun, and then maybe I can sleep now? Yeah, how do I... How do I sleep? There we go. There we go, okay. Uh, home sweet home. This bed might be kinda lumpy, but it sure beats sleeping on the sidewalk. Yeah, the Sega CD version is the only version that has voice acting. There was an Amiga, a PC version, and apparently an uh, Atari ST version. All right, it is next day. Yeah, we have to solve this within three days or like the villain does something. Basically, the mayor's daughter overdosed on like some bad drugs and he sent me to investigate what happened. Um... All right, we're gonna put our gun back up because we can't get into the pleasure dome without them confiscating it and they will not give it back. So let's put this bad boy right here and save it and let's get out of here. Let's fast travel. Uh. Karen's not going to be home, is she? Probably not. She's at work. Huh. No answer. Yeah. All right, let's go to... Well, first, let's go to the armory, now that we have our ID card. Uh, let's show our ID card. Wait, where's my ID card? Let's reload. Did I leave it in my... I think I left it in the card reader. <laughs> Here? There we go. Okay. That's weird. City Hall. Through the alleyway into the cell and let's go talk let's go show him our uh, id card so he'll let us in the armory that didn't work maybe i talk show me your pets i don't have one <laughs> sorry buddy you can't get past this checkpoint without the proper authorization oh that's right i'm not actually a cop i'm a private detective i already told you no pass, no access. No? Okay. Huh. Okay, so never mind, we can't. Have you completed this one in the past? Uh, yeah. Uh, when it originally came out on Sega CD, but I got the bad ending. Because <laughs> I wasn't able to save my girlfriend. Hello, handsome. What can I do for you now? Uh thought we might have unfinished business to discuss. I may have given the impression that I was interested in you before, Blade, but I've changed my mind. 
It's a woman's prerogative to do that, you know. See you around, Blade. Damn, rude. Don't bother me right now, Blade. My nails are wet. <laughs> All right, let's go, uh... Sorry, Blade. The mayor can't see you now. Yeah, I think every day you get an option to choose different dialogue before the, uh, the characters shut down. So you have to be able to ask the right questions to be able to further the story. Well, Blake, back again? <laughs> Thought you might be able to help. I don't see how I can do anything for you now. Come back later when you have some information for me to run through the computer. <laughs> I've got to get back to work now. See you later. The only way I can help you is if you bring me some information to run okay. through the computer. Come back later, Blade. Okay, I'm so very busy right now. Damn. Come back later if you have a specific question for me. Goodbye, Blade. I was, I was repeating the same thing over and over using different words. All right. Um, so basically, I've had to find evidence and then bring it back to her. So let's go back to the strip club slash pleasure dome. Yeah, we don't bring our gun here because they confiscate it and they don't give it back to us. Hold on a second while we scan you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I need to go to the bar. Let's see, is he still angry at me? Listen up, town. Unless you got something for me, get out of my face. See, he wants... He wanted uh, proof that Chandra was dead. And here's a picture... Which I thought would work. Listen up. Maybe I'm just not clicking on him right. This has to be it. I remember showing him this picture, and he freaked out. And was like, "Whoa, man! Okay, I'll show you, Jake." Go away! We don't serve your kind in here. Oh. Eighty-six yourself, man. I'm trying to contact extra to red. He's trying to contract extraterrestrials. Um. Soft lock if you lose a gun. Uh, it might prevent you from getting uh, the better ending. Yeah, so I'm trying not to. Or maybe you're supposed to lose a gun in order to advance the story. I don't quite remember. But nobody wants to talk to me. So I'm supposed to talk to this guy, tell him his friend Chandra's dead. And here's proof she's dead. So he'll show me where Jake is. But picture of the mayor's daughter. I don't. What if I show you my ID? No. Yeah, the problem is when you use an item, you don't really know where the mouse cursor is at. So do I click like, no? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Listen up town, unless you got something for me, get out of my face. That's what I'm, I'm trying to show you this. No. That doesn't work. Uh, and everyone hates me again. <laughs> so I thought I would have new dialogue. 86 yourself, man. I'm trying to contact extraterrestrial. <laughs> yeah, there's not like a whole lot of places to go. Please don't bother me. I'm trying to. What if I show them the picture? Maybe I gotta show somebody else first. No? No? No. Unless I'm completely missing an area, which, again, possible. Beat it, Grump. Can't you see I'm busy playing a hand here? It's in the bar. It's in the main stage. Is there anywhere else I can go? me Jack yeah there's just not a whole lot of places to go so to main area so I don't know what I'm supposed to do here 
I mean, I know what I'm supposed to do, but it doesn't appear to be working. I'll save it and let them steal my gun. Maybe that's supposed maybe that's a requirement. Maybe you have to lose a gun first. Which is weird. Let's go to seven. You know, games are sometimes weird. You have to meet a certain condition for it to proceed. Maybe I'm supposed to lose a gun. Give it a try. I don't really need to use my ID card. I can just Jerry rig the door open. All right, let's get my gun. There is a roof, but I don't think there's anything on the roof, right? Yeah. Okay. Downstairs. Pleasure Dome. You know what I kind of want to play next? Sewer Shark. All right, let's save it. Give her the gun. Yes, please let me know when you plan to. Yeah, that'll be a one stream game. Love to watch you play it through. Yeah, that game was, that was, um, it came with the, the system, right? It was Sewer Shark and, uh, was there another game? I feel like it was like two or three games. Maybe some demo, demo CD. I feel like Sewer Shark was a, uh, came with it. We got bogeys at Niner, Niner, Six, Six. Yeah. Ours came with Sewer Shark, yeah. Yeah, I played hooky off school and finished that. Uh, back in high school. Um, I guess that's it. Wait, what about explosive devices? No. She doesn't want those. Alright, let's go. Now let's try. Oh. Unless you got something for me, get out of my face. Either that I, or I was supposed to have the picture when I first talked to him. Get out of my bar. You're stinking up the place. No. Oh, I know he's supposed to see this picture. Has to be. Like I told him his friend is dead and he said you have no proof. And I didn't at the time, but then I came back, and now I have this. I wonder if I soft locked it. All right, I gotta look this up because I am like 99% certain that uh, this is what I need to do. But I may have just made him mad. Uh, disclaimer. What is this disclaimer? Sounds like the game broken from when you spoke to him earlier. Yeah. Are you ready to be here? Differences between the versions. Yeah. It would be wise to note now that the Sega CD version features CD quality music. Same sound of DOS, but sounds better. And then the voice acting. Oh, the DOS version did have a small amount of voice acting. Don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Yeah, I didn't really say anything. I mean, I did tell him his friend was dead. So, you know, you know, hey, Doc, how are you? Uh, yeah, I wonder if there's a way to, like, take the CD, Sega CD audio and implement it in the MS-DOS version. I think the MS-DOS version looks better. I'll have to check. All right, what did I do wrong here? Got all that, got all that. City Hall. Yep. Oh, I didn't go to... Okay, I did miss an area. I did miss an area. Alright, so let's go do that first. Uh, that's to the main area. I do remember that. Uh, that's... This way... 
Let's reload first. Could we still have our gun, right? Yeah, let's keep our gun. S to the M way. There was a warehouse, I think, in City Hall. Doing well, thanks. Been busy with work and kids and just getting old because I can't stay up late playing games anymore. Kids will do that to you. Yeah, I'm on the cusp. I beat Elden Ring and I'm looking for a game in between now and when the DLC comes out. So I may here, right? Warehouse District. Yeah, I may uh, start up Fallout 3, even though it's probably too big of a game to play and beat. To Alley. You stick to the main story, Fallout 3 is quite short. Yeah, I, I usually do that. I mean, I'll do like a couple of side quests if they're interesting or if I feel like I'm underpowered. But for the most part, I stick to the main quest. So I have Fallout 3 and I also have Fallout 3 New Vegas. Hmm. Looks like I might be able to squeeze through there. The decaying pipes carrying various unprocessed hazardous waste materials to a disposal site conveniently located in a nearby wetlands area. Just watch the speed run and follow that. Yeah. Yeah, I've actually I've never played Fallout 3 or New Vegas or Fallout 4. Uh, I guess let's just go through. Ooh, it's an old man. A small Asian man sits meditatively on an empty shipping crate. He has an air of great wisdom about him and seems curiously at home in his warehouse. Paul Trish Reesroth actually being born? Is it? Hmm, I'm not sure. Greetings, William Hunter. I am called Chang Li. It is most gratifying to finally make your acquaintance. How do you know who I am? A man can learn a great many things if he knows how to listen. What else have you heard? Many things, William Hunter. I have learned about the tragic death of a young girl who was the daughter of a powerful man in the government. It is also known by my humble self and others that you are investigating this affair. What others? Those who wish you ill. Act with care, William Hunter. You must go now. I can help you no more at present, William Hunter. Please come back if I can be of any more assistance. My character's name is Blade Hunter. Did they change this from the original where it was small oriental man? No, 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 no. I think I think I think we had moved past uh, using the word oriental at that point. I think it's always been Asian man. I could be wrong. This came out after the uh, DOS version, which I've never played. Empty shipping cranes. Empty shipping. Em Empty shipping cranes. Uh, that's it. Let's talk to him again. Leave this place, William Hunter. Your destiny is elsewhere. So maybe I needed to talk to him first. Space Quest 2 speedruns are amazing. Pull up the parser and type cheat. Rolls the credits and even gives you more than maximum points. I never knew that was a thing. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. All right, was that what I was supposed to do? I want to put my gun up first. Doom, we're all dead. No, he doesn't care. I can't buy flowers. Yeah, let's um. Let's put my gun up first and then try it again. Meanwhile, yeah, this game has only uh, that fixes a bar. I hope I hope so. Yeah, this game has a time limit. You have like three days. Mr. Kwong, we've made up more than a day's worth of production in the last 24 hours. What? You pathetic fool. That still leaves us six days behind schedule. But we've already begun to exceed the safety margins. To hell with the margins. Push the reactors to the red line. But the reactors could blow us all the hell if they become overheated. There are many ways to die. 
some of which are more painful and drawn out than others. <laughs> I suggest you think about that. I uh, won't fail you again, Mr. Kwong. You're right. You have 32 hours to meet the production quota. Yeah, fall, uh, Fallout 3 literally starts at your birth in the vault. As part of the character build, you know, you get to choose your gender. Of course, this is back in the day, but there's only two. <laughs> You're terrible, Doc. Terrible. Um, okay, let's put my gun up. Yeah, I don't know if this fixes the bar. I didn't, I didn't read past that point. I just saw where it said warehouse, and I'm like, oh shit, that's right. There's a warehouse section. Um, yeah, let's go back to the bar. See if this works now. But 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 what's the backstory on this game? Um, the mayor's daughter bought some drugs in the Pleasure Dome, and the drugs ended up uh, killing her and like morphing her her face. So the mayor wants me to investigate her death and find out what happened and who's behind it. So I'm supposed to talk to this guy named Jake. This guy knows who Jake is, but he won't tell me unless I show him proof that his friend Chandra is dead. I think, I hope this will work. It does not work, shit. All right, now let me look at the guide. Oh, right, whenever you travel, there is a time limit. All right. What did I miss? Yeah, could I have the picture of Chandra that I'm supposed to show this guy? As far as I know. Uh, wait, did I miss all of this? Hold on a second. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm missing. I'm missing areas. That's what I'm missing. <laughs> Tomb Raider game, game of the Year edition is free on GOG. Is it worth playing? Uh, I'm kind of not really super into Tomb Raider. Like, it was cool when it first came out because it was technologically impressive, but I have not played any of the remakes, so I could not tell you. Apparently there is a section. Uh, there's a section about uh, in City Hall where you can go behind. I didn't think you could. There's like a electrical panel. How am I missing all of this? Where does it say electrical panel at? I need that highlight button. I'm too old to pixel hunt. Oh, never mind. I thought that was it. That just takes me back to yeah, the warehouse district. Is there an electrical panel here? To Alley. I always end up missing like stages. Yeah, I, I, do, I, I do not see it. I do not see it. They said it was... This is the warehouse district, which is behind... Which is behind the flower shop. To M-Way. Is this it? No. Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. What's the game you let you loved and were really good at, but it's been so long since you played it that you have lost all your skills and now it's just frustrating? Or said another way you can reteach an old dog new tricks. Uh, I mean, I was okay at fighting games. 
I won't say I was the best. Like Tekken 3 was probably my peak because we would play every weekend, my friends and I. So I knew a couple of characters very well and a lot of the movesets. But if you had me play it right now, I probably wouldn't remember a whole lot. Um, it says an electrical panel. I did not see the electrical panel. Yeah, um, okay. I think this game has like dead ends. I feel like it has dead ends. Uh, go into the alley behind the floor flower shop. Yep, found the warehouse. Look in the window of the warehouse. I didn't see a window. Did you? I didn't see a window. The window of the warehouse. What window? Do you see a window? Here, maybe there's a window? Hmm. Looks like I might be able to squeeze through there. Have you been Hefe? Did you have some time off? Uh, no, I got sick last week. I was sick Monday, Monday night. Actually, Monday while I was at work, I was sneezing like crazy. And I'm like, oh, God, I'm like, is it allergies? Please let it be allergies. It's never, it's never, ever been allergies. It's always been sickness. So, yeah, Monday night, it hit me. And then I was out Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, Dude, they, they say there's a window for the warehouse? Where? That? No? This is the warehouse area. I don't get it. It did say you're supposed to buy flowers at the very beginning, which I didn't because I didn't have my ID card. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, sir. May you attain happiness and spiritual fulfillment in this life cycle. Goodbye. All right, well, I have flowers. If you can break the game through dialogue, that's pretty rough. Yeah, either that or I'm just doing things out of order. I have flowers now. It's just a thing out on a guy out of a hot water with his girlfriend, which I have. Have I caught up on shows while I was sick? I've got nothing new currently after Fallout Show. Uh, I stopped watching the Fallout Show. It just really wasn't my thing. Uh, we have been watching mostly documentary type series um the jinx part two on hbo and expedition hell on hbo expedition hell is super super interesting it's about this guy mickey grossman who's like supposedly like israeli idf you know survivalist specialist all this stuff he wanted to do a 5,000 mile trek from one end of south america through the amazon uh to the other side of south america to raise uh, money for cancer or whatever. And he wanted to film it too. Um, so people paid him to uh, join him for certain legs of the journey. And you quickly find out that this guy is kind of crazy and kind of a dictator. And he's very belittling to everyone around him. He accepts no criticism and it just ends up becoming one huge like shit show with him at the center of all of it and it's uh it's super super interesting yeah he is he is kind of a crazy psychopath but that's like five episodes in so far he's about i think halfway through his uh five thousand mile trek hike whatever you want to call it one guy almost dies because there's one uh, one section of South America where it's like all desert and they're just not prepared for it. So I just like shows about privileged white people going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. The more eccentric, the better. Um, it says electrical panel somewhere. I don't know where. Let's go give the flowers to... Uh, Oh, it's too late. City Hall closes at five.
Man, I'm having some really diff some real difficulty trying to get this done. Hmm. No answer. Karen must not be home. And she's never home. I don't know where she goes. She gets off at five. Watch the first Jinx. This dude is so old and decrepit. I don't know why they made a second, honestly. Well, they went made a second because Jinx ended up providing evidence for them to try him for, you know, the murder of his friend. And so the, the second Jinx is actually just uh, them re-interviewing his friends, interviewing the witnesses. It's actually, I mean, the first Jinx was excellent. The second Jinx is very good as well. Uh, you kind of see... Uh, through his phone calls while he's in jail to his like friends and like his support group, like how he's able to like manipulate people. Yeah, they do some interviews with his wife, quote unquote. And uh, yeah, you can tell she's uh, she's an opportunist. She's there for the money, completely. Uh, I'll go back, I guess. Uh, so far, I have been completely unsuccessful in moving this plot forward. That's what I'm saying. These shows that kind of make stars out of real, like, despicable people. I mean, they're definitely interesting subjects, for sure. I mean, you could argue that any true crime documentary uh, kind of makes celebrities out of uh, out of killers. But it's just it's it's just an interesting topic. It's just interesting that there are those type of people out there or that, you know, that is actually possible. Uh, yeah, I definitely will not go into a any sort of hero worship when it comes to these guys. Like there are definitely people out there that will buy memorabilia that will try to write letters to these people. I'm like, no, no, they're they're insane people that have killed people that have destroyed families and they don't deserve that. Um, I mean, I guess I just sleep again. Unless I, unless I get new, uh, maybe I get new messages every every day. There's one called Till Death or something. These two privileged white students uh, who killed her parents so they could be together and then run from the cops. Is that like the Ken and Barbie one? Message played. Are there any other messages? Nope. Nope. Damn it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I might have broken it. I gotta look this up. I gotta look this up. To the left, you will see an electrical panel for the warehouse. I don't see it. I wonder if this is maybe different. Uh, yeah, I, I might be I might be doing things out of order. This guy's a German student. He's some well off socialite punk in the 80s. Oh, yeah, I do know this. I do know this. Yeah, we saw that a couple of months ago. Wasn't the German guy like very, very intelligent or very manipulative? I forget what it was. Oh man, Anok supported him. Oh yeah, she's a, a bastion of truth and honesty. Um, yeah, I don't... Let me just see. Let me see the picture. Um, let me do Pleasure Dome. That's where I'm getting stuck at. Okay. Be sure to take your ID card. Yep, I did that. Okay. Go to the bar. Right. Do not give her the gun if you don't have the Fisto candy bar with you. Otherwise, you'll not get your gun back. Oh, okay, so you can get it back one time. Yeah, it does say leave your gun at home. Uh, yep, 
Okay, so the guy's name is Majalambo. He's mighty suspicious. Talk to the man in the green coat. It is important that you make the right choices in this conversation. You may wish to save your game before talking to this man, because if you say the wrong things, you eliminate any chance of winning the game. So I fucked up. God. The funny thing is I actually went through different dialogue options, and I thought I went through all of them, and he ended up with the same response at the end. Oh, what's your Amanda Knox problem? You think she did it? Uh, like, it's been a long time since I looked at the case, but she was the, the exchange student who ended up with, like, a dead roommate, right? Based on what I remember when I watched uh, the documentary, right? Documentary could be slanted. Based on what the documentary showed me, yeah, she she definitely knew more over was involved more than I think she's letting on. But that is just my layman opinion. All right, so yeah, I broke the game. Awesome. <laughs> um, let's go back to uh, the beginning of the game. Yeah, I think I did this when I played the game the very first time in the 90s. I talked to him and I made him angry and he's just like, screw you, I'm done. She finally let out of jail. They found a burglar who was responsible. Oh, did they? Really? She's back in the States, right? Um, I mean, this game is sh short-ish enough that I, um, I don't really... It's not going to take me much time at all. Basically, I forgot to do this. Turn on the computer. Um, play the messages. Hunter, we've had more... Yep. Um, that he'll print out. Need a good use cover... And then Karen. Blade, where the hell were you last? Yep, I stood her up. And then I should get my card. Got my ID card. Got the picture of Chandra. Um. Oops. Get out of here. Was that it? Uh. Yeah, nothing here. I don't have the keys yet. I gotta go talk to Catherine. Uh, there's a first aid kit. I already got that. Okay. I think we're good. All right, speed run time. Uh, let's go to um, City Hall first. City Hall first. City Hall first. Let's talk to her. Uh, good idea, I'll take a dozen. I'll give her my ID card. She'll give me the roses. It's been a play. Okay. And we'll just skip past this as Mr. Doom guy. Okay, go to the warehouse. Come through here. Hit this guy's dialogue again. Leave. Okay. And then back out. Um, yeah, I don't see an electrical panel. I guess we'll just have to find that later. All right, let's save it. Go in. Um, they also said you have to be uh, true to your girlfriend. Like, hi, Blade. Wanna play help? Not now. I need to see Carol's Karen Summers. What are you wasting your time on that little bimbo for? What you need, Blade, is a real woman. <clears throat> like me, for instance. <coughs> One who could take you places you never dreamed possible. Thanks for what I'm spoken for. Oh, darn it. The good ones are always taken. Well, if you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. Okay, let's go talk to Karen. Uh, let's give her the flowers. Can I just give her the flowers straight up? Let's see. No, I think I gotta talk to her first. Thanks a lot for standing me up. Uh, here I brought some flowers to make up for my behavior. They're lovely, Blade. But you still owe me a night on the town. 
How about picking me up at 7.30 for dinner at Les Trois? Uh, I can't think of a better idea. Yep. Great. It's a date then. Here are the keys you left with me, Blade. Yeah, thanks, Karen. You're welcome, Blade. Come back later if you need me to check out anything else for you. See you later. All right. Got our keys. Go back to our apartment. Uh, we can't see the mayor, right? Sorry, Blade. The mayor can't see you now. And I don't have a pass to go into the armory. So let's leave. Go back to my apartment. There is travel time when you when you switch locations. Uh, we have the keys. Open up our cabinet. Take a fisto bar. Um, a wire tester and like three explosives, four explosives. Save that. All right, now we can go back to the bar, the Pleasure Dome, and do this properly. I'll choose the right dialogue so we don't lock the game or prevent us from winning. I don't have my gun with me, right? Good. Don't, don't, don't. Gen X gaming is hardcore. Yeah, yeah, right at the beginning, right at the beginning. Uh, uh, let's talk to these people. Fuck you, little kid. We'll soft lock your ass. Yeah. Can't you see I'm busy playing a hand? Beat it, Grump. Uh, let's save it. You're supposed to be. Excuse me, man. Truthful. Mm -hmm. My name is William Hunter. Looking for a man named Jake. Hurry up and discard, Dars. I'm occupied at the moment. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, well, let's talk to him first, right? Wait, hold on a second. Let me make sure I'm talking to the right guy. Um. He seems mighty suspicious of you. If you press him hard, I will be able to talk to Jake. Yep. Yeah, okay. So save it. What you want, wimp? Who you calling wimp, Rhino Breath? What? I mean, I'd like to order a drink. I please. got this part. We don't I got serve cops in my bar. I got past buddy. this part. I'm not a police officer anymore. Don't matter. Uh, I seen a man called Jake. Maybe. I Go away. Yeah, he told me to talk to this guy at this. All right. Yo, kiss up. Okay. Uh, let me look and see what I need to do. I'm looking for the Jake. I did that. And then I said a friend of his is in trouble. Yep, I did that. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, you go. Well, he's got lots minus one. What the hell are you talking about, pal? Wait, what? I'm afraid that she's dead. I don't have that as an option. If you can't seem to get past this conversation, try this sequence. One of your friends is... Let's just say you have a lot of friends minus one. I'm afraid that she's dead. You're crazy. Get out of my sight. Oh, dang it. That didn't work. Oh, wait. There we go. See, I think you have to have the picture. Oh my there God. we go. Yep. Shandy. Yeah, you have to have the picture. In my office. There we go. Yeah, I didn't have the picture because I didn't realize how to get my ID card from the computer at the beginning. So I went back and got it, but I had broken the sequence at that point. Oh my god, Shandy! 
The name's Willard Jakeston. Everybody calls me the Jake. The what? Shandy thought it up. Holy mother. What happened to her? I mean, what could have done this? She was, damn it, she was stupid. I told her. Told her that Chen was... Who's Chen? Nobody never heard of him. You think Chandra would want you covering this guy's ass? Look, bud, Chandra was a big girl. Damn it. What the hell did this to her? You're just gonna wait for this to happen to another one of your friends? Uh, I don't know, but someone does. Why don't you help me out? Uh, I got no more friends. I got no more friends. I'm out of luck, out of love. Got a photograph, picture of passion killer. You're too much of the only one I want to touch. What what song is that? Look, kid, we all got our problem. What's this guy's name and address? Yeah, you know. I'm gonna really miss her. I told her, don't mess with that crap. Damn stupid girl. Stupid girl. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Wait a minute. Give me your address. Get out of my face now. I don't want people seeing me talking to a slicker like you. Oh no. Did I not do that right? <laughs> Again, be very careful what you say in this conversation. The more information you learn, the better. Uh, okay, so I fucked that up. <laughs> Alright, let's do that again. Oh my god. Look, man, you don't want to mess with that. This has got some big time flatliners behind it. Just leave it alone. Come on, help me on this. Don't you hear? Whatever she got herself into, it's deep and bad. Real bad. Um, uh, look, all I want to do is help. Who is she mixed up with? Yeah. All right, man. You didn't hear anything from me. She was hanging with a big league pumper called Chin. Remember, bub, you didn't hear nothing from the chick. Uh, anything else? Bub, you are truly unreal. Y you want my head to end up in a wonton factory? All right. Check out 544 Wallaby Street, number 798. There we and go. Hunter, she was a nice kid. This guy turns out to be involved. You toast him for me. Okay? I'll be around if you find anything out. That was what we needed. But we'll do another save just in case. Photograph, I don't want your photograph. I don't need your photograph. All I got is photograph, but it's not enough. Mm, not ringing a bell. Sing it to me. Sing it to me, Doc. <laughs> Um, oh, I saved it. Get out of my face now. I don't want people seeing me talking to a slicker like you. All right, we're leaving. We have a new place to go. What is this? Does this guy have anything to say? Really? We won't talk to him. We already talked to him. Well, let's let's save it and talk to her. Hello there, handsome. Uh, sounds like fun, but I'm on business. What a coincidence. Not a good idea. My girlfriend wouldn't approve. I won't tell her if you won't. You're wasting your time. And then this guy. Who you call? Who you calling veg head, slag brain? Your attitude sucks, man. Get lost. <laughs> Photograph. I don't want your photograph. I don't need you. Uh, anytime I hear photograph, all I think about is that stupid Nickelback song. I do need to talk to Chin. Go. Oh, okay. All right, let's get out of here. One of the best hair metal songs of the 80s, Def Leppard. Def Leppard has some bangers. Uh, let's get out of here. We have a new address now, right? Chen Lu's. I wonder who that goon with the eye patch is. Maybe he's one of Chen's buddies. Oh, I don't have my gun on me. Shit. 
Hey, watch it. My fault. Yeah, well, you really should be more careful in this neighborhood. I hear there are a lot of dangerous criminals around. <laughs> Oops, someone's dying. Uh, we'll reload it so I can go get my gun. Yeah, the one-armed drummer. Yeah, he lost it in when his when their tour bus turned over. Let's go get my gun. I don't trust this area. I believe that's the story. Okay. Uh, let's get to the the M way. Save it. Let's maybe go to City Hall and have her look up Chen since it's still open. Hello, handsome. What can I do for you now? I need to talk to Karen. Well, go see her and quit bothering me. All right, let's talk. Good catch up, sir. I have to get back to work. Good luck with this janky game. You're on a really janky game streak. Yeah, I'm trying to play all the retro games I've ever wanted to play before I go back to indie stuff. I don't have that many left. Just a matter of depend uh, filtering out which ones will take more than like 20, 30 hours. Have a good one, Doc. Thanks for stopping in. Let's talk. Well, Blade, back again. I'm um, having some trouble with this case. Thought you might be able to help. Do anything for you now. Come back later when you have some information. Oh, uh, never mind. I don't have anything. I'm just surprised you own all the virtual hardware. Hey, you know, I've got disposable income. <laughs> I wonder how much a Sega CD is. See ya. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out. Oh, let's reload, actually. So, City Hall is useless. Let's go to Chen Lu's with our gun. Skip this cutscene because we already saw it. Oh, I can't skip it. Oh yeah, I can. Hey, watch it. My fault. My fault. Yeah, well you really should be more careful in this neighborhood. I hear there are a lot of dangerous criminals around. Save it to Chen's. Jesus. The twisted remains of Chen Lu's horribly disfigured body offer mute testimony to the savage power of the substance which killed him. The remains of an expensive couch. It reeks of stale beer and cigarettes. Chen has an impressive amount of expensive audio video equipment. Where does this guy get the money for all this stuff? Ah. He rich. Vidphone terminal. All right, let's look at the body. Or not. Okay. Play. Let's get some info. Oh, meanwhile. Unit 41, we There's... have an illegal entry at 554 Wallaby Street, number 798. Go check it out. Oh, shit. Unit 41, roger. Oh, power. Uh, Chen Lu, that's his stuff, right? Okay. Brother Lu, 
Your irresponsible actions have brought unwarranted attention to our production operation. The girl you killed was the daughter of a powerful man. He will seek to avenge himself upon us. I am sending my personal representative to discuss the matter with you. Goodbye, Brother Lou. <laughs> so, when they laugh like that, why would you ever think it's going to be a good thing? Okay. I wonder how much time I get. What's in the bathroom? Just clicking things, I'm just clicking things. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Two living room. Two living room. Okay, let's get out of here. I think that was good, right? We left before we got caught by the cops. All right, let's go to City Hall and have her look up this drug. Let me just get past this. He basically says the project will be ready in three days. I assume he's going to kill everybody. Uh, let's talk. Hello again, sir. How can I be of service to you? I'd like to buy flowers. Again? I'm sorry, sir. We no longer carry flowers. What? Come on, this is a flower shop. I can no longer bring myself to kill helpless plans simply for human vanity. It brings disharmony to the universe. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay. Are you the one the prophecies? What prophecy? prophecy. Five thousand years, yep. Okay. Hello, handsome. I need to see Karen Summers. Well, go Is there anything else you'd like? Yes, there is. This. What is this? What this patch has been doped with, but I can have the lab boys analyze it for you. It won't be ready until tomorrow, though. Oh, that'll be fine. Look, I'll come get the report when it's ready. Nice. Is that it? Is there any I don't think we have anything else, right? Yeah, no, we don't. Okay. Uh, let's talk. Hello. Can I see the mayor? No can do, Blade. I'm sorry, but he's very busy right now. Yeah, maybe I have to like flirt with her to get it. Uh, I think that's it. Maybe I'll go back to the Pleasure Dome. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to put my gun up. Put my gun up. Yeah, I don't understand what the point of having Karen's room or Karen's address is. She's never there after work, so I don't I don't know what the deal is. Save it. It's the pleasure dome. Let's talk. Hunter, in my boot, we gotta talk. I'll save it, cause who knows? This guy is so temperamental. Word on the street is that Chan's dead. Same thing that happened to Shandi. I hope he hurt. Right down to the end, I hope he went out in pain. Lots of pain for what he did to Shandi. What's the word on the street about his death? Seems he was tied up with some kind of drug operation run by the Chinese mafia. Word is they're gearing up for something very big. 
They're operating out of an old warehouse, right under the nose of City Hall. Man, somebody should take those bastards out. Maybe that's how I get the uh, the electrical panel. Got something I want you to look at. I don't have anything. Sure. What you got? Maybe I was supposed to give it give it to him rather than Karen. Well, I thought you said you wanted me to look at something. Uh. Get lost, man. I don't want people seeing us talking. Maybe that gets us a different ending. Ooh, that's not good. Who you calling veg? You had your chance and you blew it. Get out of my all right, everyone hates me. Got it. So maybe I just wait until tomorrow. Please don't bother me. I'm what about this guy? Go away. Nope. All right, let's get out of here. Um, we'll fast forward it to the next day. Yeah, I would have thought like Karen would be here. Never home. Maybe like in the future, that'll be a new area for us. All right, I guess let's uh, just fast forward time. Now it's almost time for me to pick up Karen for our date tonight. There Damn, we go. I wish I didn't have this case right now. But a lot more people may be hurt if I don't catch the slime who off Chandra. And I can sure use the money the mayor's paying me. On the other hand, if I skip out on Karen this time, she'll probably never speak to me again. I don't want to get her pissed at me. And I've been maybe, I don't know, just a little inconsiderate lately. <sighs> what should I do? She won't help you if you skip out on her date. So I think now we can go. There hey, we go. Beautiful. <laughs> You're ready to hit the town. I'm impressed, Blade. You're even on time. A toast to us. To us. Hey, so it's the next day. Um, all right, let's go to City Hall. Let's see what information she has. Again. I have that lab report you wanted. No problem, lover boy. Here's the tape. Red blood cell. Transmutation complete. Watch your backside, Blade. That's some pretty heavy stuff you've got there. Is there anything else you'd like me to take a look at, Blade? I think that's it. Come back later if you need me to do another computer run for you. See you later, Blade. Yeah, I wonder if I sh Oh, shit. No, 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 come back. I wonder if I should have given that to uh, our buddy. Can I see the mayor? I can't see the mayor, right? Probably not until the very end. 
You need to see the mayor, it's urgent. Or you look great today. Let's try both. If it were up to me, you could see anyone you want, but the mayor is extremely busy right now. When the hell is he going to be available? There's no need to get upset. I'm sure the mayor will see you when it is convenient for him. Good day, Blade. Well, let's reload that. If it were up to Tell him that I have some information which I'm sure he would prefer be kept out of the public eye. After all, uh, this is an election year. Sorry, Blade, but I can't have you marching into the mayor's office every time you want your parking tickets fixed. If you're pulling my leg this time, we are both going to catch hell. Mr. Mayor, William Hunter's here to see you on an extremely urgent There matter. we go. He's not here to get me to fix some parking tickets, is he? He claims it is urgent, sir. He is threatening to reveal information which would hurt your chances to be re-elected. Very well. Send him up. <laughs> hey, we get in. More than a courtesy call. You're damn right it is, and I am sick and tired of being given the runaround by your people. You are the effing jerk who hired me for this gig, remember? And then you act like I'm a radioactive when I try and get in touch with you. It would not be appropriate for me to be seen publicly in your company, Mr. Hunter. I only hired you because there's no one else who knows the scum of this city the way you do. Oh, yeah. A lot of it's in this building. Let's drop all pretenses. I pulled you up from the gutter. And if you don't do this the way I tell you to, you'll end up right back there. Or worse. Ooh, what do I do? What do I do? You should be nice to someone who has info that can cost you the next election. I have information which indicates your daughter may have been involved with a member of the Chinese Mafia. And likely a drug addict for boot. If you have any information of that nature, I strongly suggest you leave it in my possession. Releasing it could prove detrimental to your health. Ooh. I want you to tell me everything you've discovered, Mr. Hunter. Ugh. I'll tell you, but we need to renegotiate our deal. Uh... Shandi was hanging around a Chinese mafioso named Chen Lu. It seems he gave us some bad juice. That's bad with a capital B. See, it was laced with some exotic virus that uh, scrambles your genes. It's all on this tape. I don't trust this guy. Do you have any leads on this Chen Lu? Well, I uh, found what was left of him on the floor of the apartment. Since he died the same way Shandi did, it seems likely that the uh, Chinese Mafia is somehow involved with this MTZ. Uh, you haven't done anything to tick them off lately, have you? No. Somehow, I'm not reassured. I can't trust the police to deal with this situation effectively, Mr. Hunter. So I'd like you to follow up on it further. I want you to find out who is ultimately responsible for this MTZ operation. And then I want you to shut down the operation permanently. Uh, let's see. All right, but only because I have a personal grudge against those bastards. Don't be so quick to take an extreme position, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> I'm sure we can work something out. Look, I have been busting my ass for you, nosing around some seriously fatal mobsters, and all I get from my trouble is a lot of flack from you. How about a little cooperation here, huh? I do not like being left hung out to dry. Official help is, of course, out of the question, but I can give you a security pass which will allow you to get some increased firepower from there the police. There we go. In protective custody, of course. Hey, okay. Now I can go to the police armory. All right. Mr. Hunter, our business has been concluded. I feel like he's going to betray me at the end, and I needed that tape. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. 
show me your pass. Show me your pass. I have a pass. Now, that's some pretty impressive clearance for a civilian. I can go in, right? There we go. Hell yeah, got me a gun. That's it? Uh, it just gets me a gun. Okay. All right, I'm out. I don't know if this is helpful, but we'll see. Uh, uh, let's, uh, save and then go to the warehouse. I do. Yeah, I don't see an electrical panel anywhere. This guy have anything new to say? Leave this place, William Hunter. Your destiny is elsewhere. Yeah. Definitely getting it, giving off uh, Splinter vibes. Uh, okay, let's go. Uh, yeah, I don't see. I don't see a window anywhere. Unless we're talking about like this, but I don't see that anywhere. Uh, let's leave and I guess go back home, drop off this uh, rifle so we don't get it stolen. I think we'll just dump it, All right? Okay. Uh, there's no new messages, right? Oops, that didn't work. Uh, any other messages? No. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go to the Pleasure Dome and I guess talk to our favorite guy. Or maybe go back to Chen's. Let's see. Let's go back to Chen's. Ah, uh, we can't get through it now. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Let's go to the Pleasure Dome. What time is it? Oh, it's almost time. This place. Area keeps changing. To Mway. Pleasure Dome. Hold on. Man, what do I do from here? I have no new information. Except for the uh, the warehouse. Hunter, in my booth. We gotta talk. What you got, what you got, what you got? Uh you heard anything more on Chin? The street's been pretty quiet. Word is something's going down, but no one's talking. I got a bad feeling though. This town don't hush up less something really big's gearing up. Those tombstones in Chinatown been screaming and yammering about that freaking demon of theirs. Seems some patch jockey's been checking out like our buddy Chin. Uh any word on the habits of these patch jockeys? Nothing much, except they're all big time pumpers. I think they'd sell their mothers for another dose of brain blood. Um, you got any names of these China tombstoners? Nope. Just check the locals and hang. You'll find someone willing to spill their guts on this community side braid face. Hey, the Jake is always around. Now get out of here. I got a reputation to watch after. Dang it. Get lost. Um, maybe I wasn't supposed to give the patch to Karen. Nobody's gonna talk, right? Who you calling veg heads? Nope. Now go away. Go away. Nope. Nope. Nobody wants to talk. Uh, you? Please don't. Nope. Beat it, crumb. Nope. Can't you see I'm busy playing a hand here? Uh, the main stage. Me and Jose are busy. 
Is anybody else? Oop, what's up here? Hold on a second. To main area. Oh, that's just back the way we came. Um, I mean, maybe the information Jake gave me, I can give to Karen. You got a death wish or something? So I have the Fisto bar. Yeah, I gotta find this electrical panel. But I, for the life of me, cannot find it. It's supposed to be by the warehouse. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, yeah, there's nothing here. Blade, City Hall, Chen Lu's, Karen's. Karen's not there. Gotta be City Hall. There's gotta be something here that I'm missing. That's the warehouse. District. CMY. Doom! We're all dead! No. I'm sorry. The shop is closed due to a cosmic imbalance. Okay. Um go to the warehouse yeah I just I don't I don't see it right here maybe but that's a door not an electrical panel it's to the alley yeah I, d I don't see it Go back in. The decaying pipes. Nope, I don't need to talk about the decaying pipes. Right there? To a warehouse district? No. To a warehouse district. It's all the same area, right? Yeah. Do not see. I mean, this could be an electrical panel. Leave this place, William Hunter. Yeah. No. Nothing. 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 To alley. Yeah. All right. Well, it is seven o'clock. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll save it right here, and we'll figure it out some other time. Yeah, I might. I might have messed up by giving the the patch to Karen uh, before Jake. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Maybe, maybe hard locked it again. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. We'll be back on uh, next Monday. So have a good night. See ya.